Oh, hi there. How are you doing? My name is Dr. Patience Hemingway and I'm your trainer. You caught me at a good time. Guess what I'm doing right now? I am disinfecting my tools. You know, as a trainer, I keep disassembling pipettes and putting them back together and testing them and making sure that they are in good working conditions to meet accuracy and precision, right? And I'm sure you do the same, whether you are in the field or you are in-house. Now, let me ask you this question. How often do you decontaminate the equipment that you work with? I mean, your laptop, your printers, your scanners, and your handy-dandy tools that you use to make life easier for you. Now let's check out the scenario. Imagine you're going to your barber or for a surgery or to the salon and your barber just finished trimming someone's hair and right next, he just moves the person out of the seat and puts you in the seat and start using the same tools on you without wiping them down. Or the surgeon or the surgical assistants, whoever the cleaners are, they did not sterilize the tools that were just used to operate on someone and then they're like, next, they grab it and do that. How would you feel? Would you be comfortable with that? I would not be comfortable with that. So why do you not sterilize the tools that you are using to do the job. I know some days you have admin days or slow days. You can set up 30 minutes a day to just go through your toolbox and check it out. Sometimes there are tools that are dull and you know it that these tools are not working. Clear them out of your toolbox to make room for new ones. If you do not take inventory of your own toolbox, then when it comes to inventory time, that'll also be another problem, all right? So I just want to share that with you, that take care of your tools, whether it's your printer or your screwdriver or whatever it is, your calibration tools, take care of them. And the ones that are broken and are not working anymore, get them out of your toolbox to make room for the others. I hope this helped you and gave you a reminder that we are responsible and we are providing our customers with top-notch premium services and our tools also have to be top-notch. Clean them, sterilize them, prevent cross-contamination. Always have your PPEs on, okay? Take care of you, wash your lab coats. <laughs> I know, sometimes you wear it for a long time. Wash it off, wash them because you are, you are entering into labs, touching pipettes that have been used for several things pathogens and particles and everything can be on them wash them as often as you can if you do not have enough lab coats ask your manager they will give you one so when one is clean and one is dirty you can just switch up so it doesn't affect your workflow all right so let me know if this is something that you would practice and let me know your suggestions. What, how do you do yours? Do you do it every Monday? Do you do it twice a month? Or do you do it after every account or after every pipette? How is your workflow? The more we share with each other, the more we can encourage the new people who are just joining us on board to be able to also keep their workflow going and to have good tools to work with. All right. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you for all your services for helping Eppendorf be that number one service provider, improving living conditions around the world for our research labs. Bye-bye.